Hello everyone, Equipment War here, and welcome to a gameplay commentary on my Rightness 5 mode. And today, I'm finally gonna do a tier 16 map. It was hard to get one. But finally getting some high level map, and I'm gonna do this one. And I'm currently level 90, and I have like 9000 health. So let's see what we can do against the Hydra. And by the way, I have Bridge League, Invasion, and I had Domination League. So let's see how I will fare against the boss. The normal enemy here I don't care the slightest about, but the uh, bosses, the boss I care a lot about. And I've never fought the tier 16 boss yet with uh, this character, so... Uh, but I actually think I will be able to do it, so... Get rid of some enemies here. Oh, I love Breach. I need to be a little bit prepared with my flasks, because flasks are my source of getting my life back. I can take a lot of damage actually now, because I have such a ridiculous amount of life. I think I need to change my flasks around a little bit. Oh yeah, using fire at me, what a stupid idea. And yeah, we get some stuff here. I should actually make a gameplay when actually fighting one of the bridge lords. I have fought them before, but I never really made a video of it. I should do that. Ooh, I was bleeding. Uh, let's take up this stuff here on the ground, and if I can get real lucky, maybe I get a map drop here. The map have, doesn't have the most deadliest mods ever, but, uh, well... It has something, but mostly not something that actually annoys me. For this build, I don't want to run a map with have vulnerability or less uh, maximum resistance. And I really, really don't like to have, uh, well, uh, less uh, life range. So there are a couple of map abilities can't run efficiently. Vulnerability is okay-ish. But uh, it, uh, it means you need to pop your uh, flask like 24 7. Look at these enemies here. By the way, I actually find that uh, reload here. That means I'm gonna do a, a slight upgrade here for just one second. Because I have this fuel here, which I actually have found, and now I hope I will get like fire damage or something awesome there. Let's hope. Let's hope. Increase physical damage with two other melee weapon. Ah, uh, get damn it. Well, 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 it's still a good use, so... Whatever. Ooh, I have something on me that hits hard. Ooh, I want that item. Can I not, not drop another tier 16 map, please? I have no idea actually what my DPS are on this carrot. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a little bit almost too un Im Im ambitious to go in there. That was a little bit too much. That was a lot. Well, look what we have here. Uh, how, how am I supposed to not go into this? A torture shame on map, that's an easy boss. I think this gameplay will be a little bit longer than I actually attended to. And I don't care if I manage to do the mission or not. This is a very high level map, so... I hope I got lucky and I can get another tier 16 map. But if I can, I will do a mission, of course. Let's go here and see if we find some enemies. We have some enemies here. And they are just dead. If I'm wondering if I sound a little bit weird, I'm actually a little bit sick. I don't feel that very good. So that's the reason why I sound a little bit different. Three of them. Of course I'm going to kill the boss on this map, because why wouldn't I? Three of the enemies there. I can get some good experience here. Well, I hope I don't gonna lose it when I fight the tier 16 boss. But this character is by far my highest, uh, like, leveled character. Uh, no, not leveled character, but my highest... Uh, like uh, life character I've ever made. I never had this amount of life. Holy shit, I have so much life. 
And there are still things I can optimize, so I could have even more life, but well. 9000 uh, H points, that's pretty much good enough, I think. But I want to have more. We have another standing stone here, we have some. And uh, here we have some. Made of them. We have some more items we need to kill here. Oh man. Come on, can I not drop another tier 60 map? I really want one. This build is really important to. Uh, oh, we did a uh, mission. Now we're gonna see if we can actually kill the boss here. This map doesn't have any Dangerous mods whatsoever. So I'm quite fine with that. Let's see if we can find the boss here. The boss on this map is really simple if you know how to fight the boss. It is shock and horror, and uh, she have one ability you really need to know what you're doing. If you know that, it's a joke. If you don't know that and know how to evade that, well, it's a completely different story. Come on. He's dead. I don't care if I reflect the slightest, and I I'm just so have this build I'm going to be so buffed in the next up of it. Like, I'm going to do a far more damage. I'm probably gonna get even more life, so. It's going to be awesome, and now we're gonna fight a boss. Actually, to do more damage, I'm gonna switch to my Constrict effect. Let's get rid of the small enemies here first. Yeah, we have Shock and Horror. I don't wanna get teleported. There you have two. You saw the lightning beam right there. It's not going good for you. Or me. It depends. Ooh, that hurts a little bit. I want them to... Stop. There we go. We can do some damage again. Yeah, do the lightning. Ooh. There we go. Shock and horror defeated. Of course, we not get another map. But, well, whatever. Let's kill these enemies. Yes, because I can. Let's change back to our... Uh, my normal setup. I'm using... I'm gonna use concentrated effect for the boss. Let's activate our Reckless Fire and continue and hope for another high level map. Let's go take a look down here. Actually, I can use my movement skill there. Everything just die. It's wonderful. Kill these guys. As I said before, I don't know my DPS or my Reckless Fire. But I think it's quite high because the enemy is dying quite quickly, and even boss it takes a lot of damage. But I don't know the damage. I, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how to calculate the damage of Rikers Fire either. But there probably are an online calculator for that. I should actually ask a friend who is good on calculating stuff like that. If he can calculate my true DPS, because I have no idea. I'm doing good damage, at least I think it's good damage, and well, we will see how good the damage are when we're fighting the boss. Three of them. <laughs> Three of those enemies are getting good experience here. Three of these enemies. Man, they're triggering my custom crit, custom damage taken, which is a good thing. Ooh, I need to be a little bit careful there. Oh, was that an exile? Yeah, it actually looked like that. It's going to be interesting to fight the boss here because I always fight in this boss with a melee character, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. But now I should be able to do damage and move away from the boss at the same time. Well, we will see how that works, because it is boss time. And I think I'm gonna do this one for... I don't think I'm gonna do that much damage to it, and I actually think I'm gonna die, but we will see. Because they are ice on the ground, and I 
do not. I'm not a fan of that. We'll be doing some damage to him. At least we can actually evade his attacks quite easy. Now these coming, which are annoying. Just going around him like this. Should be the way to go. I don't like to be in like a shield I remember right now. But so far it's going quite well, I will say. It's these annoying enemies. Actually, one thing with uh, when I get slowed like this, it's actually I'm uh, getting more like uh, it's actually more. I what am I gonna tell it? It is like it's easy to actually have some. Yeah, when I'm not running that fast, it's actually more easy to have some control where you are going. Anyway, it's gonna stand here and ouch. Well, this is going to take a while. I can see that. It's an interesting way to fight this boss. He's vulnerable to fire. I don't know if he actually knows what he gonna that the boss gonna do. Can I get new flasks up? Thank you. Oh, it's getting a little bit out of hand right now. It's doing like that. So far, so good. I don't want to get hit, but I, don't, I have no idea what that will do damage to me, but my plan is not to get hit in the first place. Actually, that didn't do that much damage. So far, these have been easy. It's just some uh, matter of evidence. It takes some time, but I will be quite happy if I can do the boss without dying. Which so far have been not a big of a problem. I just do like this. Oh, that there he did some damage. <laughs> They've instantly died. These small enemies. There he is. Oh yeah. Alright. You are not a dangerous Hydra. You did some damage to me, right here. I forget to use my uh, damage of time flask like 24 7. Let's use it now. Ouch. I'm gonna evade you. Just shoot then. Let's see what's happening. Actually, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Fragment of the Hydra, I think of that. Well, that was so much easy than I imagined it would be. Well, it took a lot of time, I can't say that I like wrecked the boss in like two seconds. But it wasn't difficult, it was actually quite easy, but in my opinion the Hydra is the easiest boss in the entire game. Well, what did I say? I That is an extremely uh, wrong <laughs> thing I said right there. I mean... The boss is the easiest of the four guardians. How can I actually say that it was the easiest boss? Because it is not the easiest boss, like, so far away you can come from the easiest boss, but uh, I actually managed to do it. I'm actually quite impressed by myself, if I can say that. But anyway, I think the map unfortunately did end, and I didn't get any uh, new maps from it. Oh well. Well, I hope you guys like this little gameplay here. It went longer than I actually expected it to be. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.